Ford Flathead V8s explained, a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, yeah, pushrod V8s are so simple, but yeah, it's not actually, it doesn't have pushrods. And also people are saying, oh, it's a V6, but it's actually got shared exhaust ports. I'll show you, the centre one's a shared port. And yeah, people are asking, yeah, how come the heads are so flat? Where are the rockers? And it doesn't have any. Here's an example of prepared earlier. Take the head off. See those combustion chambers? It's a um, Ricardo design. I had this mode of running once. It's a bit worn out though. And there we have the Siamese port. These are the two exhaust ports and they actually go into one port and then all the way through. It also goes through here for the heat riser for the carb and over to the other side. There's a lot of Myths about flatheads, people say, oh, they run really hot, but they actually don't. They only run hot when you don't set the ignition properly. And and they, um, people say, oh, they're always cracked. Um, yeah, they're always cracked when they're being abused. This one doesn't have any cracks in the decks, but I don't know what it's like underneath. Also, people say these are idlers for the fan belt, but... Actually, they're water pumps. There's two water pumps because there's two separate cooling systems for each um, bank of cylinders. And the distributor's out the front. And yeah, the front, the exhaust ports for the um, front cylinder go right the way around here. And one for the rear cylinder. It's all the way around the back and around here. Here's looking into the ports. This is the rear exhaust port. Center shared port. It's a real narrow this one. And that's the front port. And this is looking in the center port. It's a bit dark. It goes yeah right. You can put your finger right around and see it from the other end. Also, people say you can never use antifreeze in a flathead because it just leaks out everywhere. But I use antifreeze. I've got green antifreeze. It doesn't leak out. That's 75% mixture as well. Another interesting thing on the earlier motors, the, um, the rod bearings, this is for one crank journal and it'll do the two rods. And this bearing, it also rotates in the rods like that. It's full floating. And um, as well as turning on the crank like that, it can rotate in there. So you've got two films of oil. That's an old design. It's just a, uh, another interesting thing. Also, Ford literature never refers to their engines as big and small blocks. That's a GM Chevy thing, so that's not actually correct because some Fords, the old V8s, the engine capacity was actually smaller, but the block is physically bigger than some of the bigger capacity engines.